Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and little Dennis is over there playing around on this dinosaur. <laughs> but we're just in a tiny intro where we're going to be looking at one of my pencil drawings, which is actually this one here, my otter, which I do believe is my favouritest pencil drawing that I've done. But the reason I'm redoing these intros is because the video that I showed during the, um, well, the video that's coming up was recorded in June of 2019 and just as I made the videos the website broke the website broke so I showed the website during the video but I wanted to explain why if you go to the website why it all looks a bit different so I hope you enjoy this one and also I think this otter sums up what the world needs right now it needs like a lot of prayers that's what I'm thinking so I hope you enjoy this one Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com and this is a little video looking at one of my pencil drawings and this one is, this is my all time favourite drawing because it's super important to me and this is quite an old one, it's 2014 I think but this, I did this drawing during a very difficult part of my life it was as I was going through accepting myself as being transgender, I guess. And I just feel like this little otter, every time I look at him, he just, I just remember like the struggle, I guess. And he, the fact he's praying, it's like he's saying, have faith or, it's just something very positive about this one. I love it. I love his little hands. <laughs> Look at his little hands. You can almost imagine them. Ah, little, little. I like that. But this one, I just love. I loved doing it. I loved putting all of the little lines in. It was like what. Yeah, what I did was I put pencil lines. I then got my little mono eraser and pulled out the whites and then with my pencil put the darks in and then took the whites out put the darks in put the whites in <laughs> it was just darks and lights constantly until it looked like full really yeah that's, that he's my little favorite drawing i've always thought i was actually going to give this one to my gender therapist because it is such a special drawing to me she is such a special special she's such a special person <laughs> that I wanted her to have it but what ended up happening was I actually drew my gender therapist a uh, little cat drawing I drew a drawing of her cat so I ended up giving her that and this one is still with me I think if all my drawings were to get caught on fire and destroyed this is the only one I would actually be sad about it's quite a special one if you go onto the website I talk about putting the drawing together and stuff and then I've got a little quote so I've got a little quote about otters which this one's from the website whatsyoursign.com and the quote is as an aquatic as an aquatic aquatic <laughs> as an aquatic that's not right okay I, as an aquatic that doesn't sound right but as an aquatic animal the otter is a symbol of life life we like life <laughs> we like life i'm gonna start again as an aquatic animal the otter is a symbol of life why because the prime symbolic meaning of water deals with the divine feminine which is a major life-giving energy water <laughs> ah i've completely ruined this as an aquatic animal the otter is a symbol of life why because the prime symbolic meaning of water deals with the divine feminine which is which is a major life-giving energy water and otters are symbolic of creativity fluidity and transitions 
Now, how amazing is that quote when you consider I was drawing that as I was going through my transition, accepting myself as Sophie. So, it's almost like everything about this otter is what I was going through. I love, I love that. I love that little quote. I want to go and see some otters as well, because they look cool. I love the shape of otters. I've sketched otters quite a lot, and they've got like a like a sausage. They're like a sausage shape, which is hmm, quite funny. I want to touch one. I wonder what they feel like. I wonder if they're prickly or soft. They look to me like they would be so soft and prickly. It's a bit weird. Imagine if they were like a hedgehog. Really fit, like prickly. I wouldn't like that. I hope they're soft. And these little images here, you've got that first one. Started putting a bit of shading in the background to make him pop. And then it was just a case of building up the fur. This one is one drawing where I could not rush it. Because if I rush this, there's a quote. What's that quote say? It says, when you rush, I don't know how to get rid of this. <laughs> when you rush, you delay. I think that quote is perfect for drawing hair or fur. If you rush drawing hair or fur, you're going to end up delaying it because, well, basically, it won't look as good. So you'll probably end up going back and changing it. You have to take your time with hair and fur. That's what I've noticed. I hope you enjoyed that. The next one is Emily Browning. So that'll be the next little video. And I'll see you in a minute for that one.